um, that's for another video. So let's start with tags. Okay, let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see better. There we go. Hopefully this is good lighting. We'll see. Um, I'm going to use some of the sprays from Dilutions. Some of my old ones that I've got sitting here. I've got a bunch of stuff sitting on my desk all around that you can't see. I'm just going to grab stuff and I'm going to try and create something from what I've got on the table instead of having to get up and get anything. Um, these dil Dilution sprays, some of these are older and I haven't used them in a while. So they may not spray. They may. Who knows? We'll see. We will hope for the best. I'm going to get me a book here. I put all my extra paint in a moleskin book so later I can make journal pages out of them. So we'll have that ready. Um, I've got some yarn I'm going to use for the, t uh, the ties at the top. And this is the coloring in the yarn. So I thought I'd use the colors of the, sp of the yarn for my spray. It's kind of the inspiration piece. All right. Um, I think I'll start with start with this yellow. This one is what is it? You know, I'm not going to take time to do this on every one. It'll take too long. Pure Sunshine is the name, but I, if y'all want to know, just ask me, and I'll try to go back and remember to tell you. But I'm just not good at all this product that I used and stuff like that. It's just time consuming, and if it's really important to you, I will certainly let you know. This is another one of the yellows. Let that sit there for a second. Um, I'm going to go with just a tad of purple. Yeah, that one sprayed a little weird. Ugh, not loving that. Okay, well, keep going. Like I said in my last videos that you may or may never see. <laughs> um, let's go with some green. save this last color. I want to put this color on, this blue, um, Calypso blue, or Calypso teal, I think. Can't see it very well. All right. Let's get our paper towel roll here. A little bit of that off. Set those aside for a second. Pull up the paper. The paint. You'd be surprised at how much is actually left on your mat. Even later when you go back and do something, if you get your mat wet, there's still color on it. Let's do some drying. I promise to learn to fast forward through the drying. I haven't done it yet through the drying time. use this this blue because that's kind of in here this is one of the newer ones I've gotten I know that looks like some looks like I'm covering it a lot probably am put this on the book and pull it up this one on the book I'm way out of practice. I I was doing videos every day practicing before I left town. And I may not, you know, I won't post them all, but I was practicing and I was feeling more comfortable. And now I feel like I'm starting all over from square one and I'm feeling a little bit weird. So y'all just bear with me, okay? All right, not loving these at all. <laughs> But you know how things happen. They turn out different than you think. If you just keep going. I want a little bit more of this 
teal color on there, but I don't think that's the right one for me to use. Maybe some of the distress paint. We'll see. This is the distress paint from Tim Holtz. I'm putting some of that on there to try to get that teal color in that I want. gonna blend right in because I am going to seal these. I know that you're probably not supposed to do that because the dilutions are not, um, they're water soluble so when you put water on them they'll blend. But I want to seal them anyway and if it blends it blends. Mod Podge, go right here. Mod Podge, and I'm going to seal these. Don't you love the stuff that comes in the lid? I love to peel that out. <laughs> All right. This is probably one of those I'm going to fast forward because I'm not talking much. And usually I talk a lot more. But the stuff I've been doing lately is not something I would really want to talk about on YouTube anyway. I had to go down to Florida and, well, circumstances weren't that great. So hopefully they will get better though. It's way darker than I was wanting, way darker. But, let's just keep going and see what happens. Let's hang in there. Okay. Let's throw that in the water bottle, the water jar, for a minute. All right. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and are having a Happy New Year. 2014 is not starting out like I had planned, but <laughs> a lot of times my plans don't turn out the way I anticipated them to turn out. So we're just going to wing it and go with it. Okay, let's try this real quick. enough. Alright, still need some white on there, I think. Because it's still a little bit too um, dark. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for, dark.
If I had not sealed this and put the white on, it would have turned colors. It still may. It kind of is. So, so much for sealing. It's turning a little bit bluish, which I don't really care. Maybe there's some on the stencil, that's why, on the Punchinella. This is Punchinella. I got that off of, um, I think, Etsy. Someone was selling it on Etsy. Punchinella, or, um, <coughs> excuse me, it's also called Sequin Waste. And sometimes it seems like it's hard to find. I had a hard time finding it, but, you know, maybe it's just the time I was looking for it. All right, let's see about that. Can you tell the white is now a blue? You may not be able to tell. I don't know. Anyway, <sighs> it's not at all what I wanted, what I was starting out to try to get, but somehow we're going to make this work, and we're going to love it. I wonder what would happen if I used this tool, like a rubbery thing, has texture, um, tips, because I really, really want some more lighter, like teal or um, I don't know what color, teal or, not really teal, aqua maybe, on it. We're going to try it. We're going to put some on the mat here. That was some Master's Touch paint. Ver Ver Verity? Verity? Some of the names they have. Okay, we're going to run the tip in there. I'm just going to wipe it. Okay. Did I get off camera? I did. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just adding stripes. Okay. Put the extra in my book. That's the color I'm wanting. I'm just not sure if I'm satisfied yet. With what's going on. But... I gotta open this so it doesn't dry. It won't stay open. Nothing's working right today. I'm just having a hard time here. All right. Um, <clears throat> okay, we've got that. You know, maybe it was meant to be. Maybe I should just go with it like this. Um, I've got the white spray from Dilutions. It's it's opaque though. I think. No, it's translucent, I think. I don't know if that'll work. You want to try it? You want to try it and see what happens? <laughs> Let's just try. It's not even been opened yet. I think this one you have to shake a little bit. It's got the ball in it. Yeah, I hear it. Shaking. If I'm doing this wrong, I'm sure somebody will tell me I'm not reading the directions because everything's so tiny. And if I take time to focus on it, I'll just wind up being frustrated. Let's spray it on the mat and then dip the card. How about that? Let's try that. All right. Oh, baby, baby, baby. That's not what I wanted either. Ah, yay, yay. 
Let's wipe some of that off. You know, I don't know. Maybe, guys. Maybe. Once it dries, who knows? Let's just let's just go with it. Let's just go with it, okay? Alright, let me move this out of the way and clean off the table. I know you guys are gonna be saying, Lord have mercy, I'll be glad when she learns to fast forward this junk. And this is all wet, so I need another. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> kind of liking that. Isn't that odd how things work out like that? Start off not loving something and just keep going and working at it and then you come up with this thing and you think, oh, that's not what I wanted, but I love it. Okay, we're, we're not quite to the love, love, love stage, but we're getting to the like it better stage. We're happier. I'm not as upset as I was. Okay, let's do some drying and see what happens. This has a smell. It's a funky smell. It's not really a great smell, but 